up YouTube, Lazy Lama here, and welcome back to another episode of Cookie Clicker once more. We've made some pretty good progress in this episode. I've been chilling the past couple days. Um, I actually almost went for another one, but the way it would have came out is it wouldn't have planned out with this video right, so then I would have been recording in the middle of the week for this episode coming out on Sunday, and things would have just kind of, I think, felt weird, but I think next time we're going to do it, just because I have been kind of wanting to just get this grind done with. Um, it's a pretty big jump. We're over 352,000. We are slowly getting there. We've got some things here. He's still alive. Um, I have revived him, I think, three times um, in total. I believe I revived him the last time at level 11. Um, this one I just revived um, during the middle of that quest. Because um, another epic Ruby Merc, maybe? I, I don't know. Um, and then we're down a Merc right now. So what I want to do is I do want this guy out by questing. There we go. We'll take something like that. Um, five minutes, so tempting, but I'm just gonna send him out on this level five, and then please give me a, okay, thank you. I'm gonna say, please give me a ruby one. Um, we still have the extra life. I believe if reviving at this level would be way too costly, but hey, um, we at least have that extra life to continue grinding with. Uh, the game was closed, as you can see, so we didn't actually progress, and we can't, you know, try to grind out another zone. Uh, it's not a, uh, I'm not gonna give us anything, um, worth, you know, grinding out anyways. But, uh, let's get through and ascend. Let me, real quick, I know someone mentioned something about the raids earlier. Were they beat? Uh, I believe they were. Yeah, we beat the raid already. Okay, just want to make sure. Someone mentioned on the Discord earlier that it needed to be done, and I didn't have my game open, so I couldn't help him out. Um, but Toasty took care of it. So we'll get in here. Ah, I gotta click. Get in here, level all these guys up, get back down there. Um, as far as rubies goes, uh, we're averaging about the same. We are pushing closer to 1900. I knew at this point I'd probably be okay, and we're gonna actually load it into the calculator to see what the calculator says. The time lapse calculator. Um, I'm pretty sure I'd be okay using some of these rubies um, for like actually like quick ascending through runs to try to push to the um, like through the brothers. Like I don't mind doing the long runs past the brothers a little bit. I mean honestly, when we first get Maw, I'm 100% pushing through Maw because you basically you don't want to have to grind through those brothers again. So you want to make it to the point where you're far enough in the game, which I don't know exactly when that falls, to where you can actually do a real ascension and climb back up there super fast, otherwise it's basically just grinding through those, you know, through that, all those zones again, uh, and it does take a little while, um, if that makes any sense, but the quickest ending um, at the end of our runs, again, we can do that technically up to a million, and past a million, it's going to get to the point where we're, we honestly aren't going to spend as many rubies, um, which will be kind of nice, um, we'll be saving a lot on rubies, so we'll see, I think I might start that soon, um, throwing that in here a little bit. I don't know though. I've been really weary about it, but let's let's get through this a little bit. We'll uh, check, like I said, check out the uh, calculator. It kind of tells you what it estimates um, you'll be spending uh, to get to certain points. So we'll do that. But let this load. There we go. Over here, let's load up our crystal calculator. We'll load that on in here. All right, sweet. So, uh, okay, that looked weird for a second, but it's all good. That was me looking at it weird. So again, decent, decent amount in there. That's a pretty big jump. Uh, again, that's one of the bigger jumps I think we've had in a while, um, which is really cool to be able to say. I like when we actually start seeing progress, although that means this run is probably going to be not very good. We're not going to make as much progress this run. Uh, where are you? Sorry, I'm just kind of concentrating through these. Make sure I'm clicking on the right one, copy and paste, and so we're not doing wrong info and stunting our growth more than we already have to try to grind out of. I might even take these back from doing a 10 to 1. I don't know what other ratio um, we should do. The 10 to 1 seems to be fine, but I don't even know if we need uh, to even be putting that much into everything. All of our idle stuff, because we're just idling for the time lapsing. Uh, it's not like we need a ton of boost. Um, and I mean, I already have well over the amount I should have into this. We probably shouldn't have much more than like, you know, just honestly like 10 in here. Um, and even that might be, might be more than we'd probably need. Uh, other than that, I mean, my, my build here is pretty efficient. Uh, Pony Boy probably could do with a tad bit less than that, but I don't know. I'm pretty happy with where those are at. Um, but here, let's do that. Let's get this saved again. I want to load this into the calculator, which I haven't done in... A couple weeks now, I believe. I don't remember checking it anytime recently. 
Um, so since you're low on rubies, um, you need you need roughly 1950 rubies uh, total for quick, asc quick ascensions zones up to a million. And it says consider saving rubies. So thinking about that, we're pretty close to that. Um, we obviously don't want to, <laughs> to spend all of our rubies, but I'd say like as long as we're staying above like 800 rubies, I'd say we probably have a close of 1,000 rubies that I'd be willing to kind of like spend. So every now and then if I'm if I'm using quick ascension to kind of push to something, I think it'd be worth it. Um, obviously I want to have a decent bit for when we actually get to Maw because I do want to be using it to just kind of push through Maw, um, speed through Maw, even though I, I love, love Maw. Maw's the best hero by far. Um, I don't know. It's crazy how fast I could technically be doing these runs. I could be doing these in like seven and a half hours right now. And it's crazy to think I could be breaking that every time. But um, we are actually going to benefit from a 48 hour time lapse, I believe. I know we've been doing lately. I'm going to actually move guilds just in case. Um, might as well move them. But we're going to be doing a good old 48 hours. So 10 more rubies spending. Um, I don't have anyone. I don't think I'm 48 requests. I might actually have one. But uh, we're going to actually benefit from that. Because we're going to get close to 200,000 zones. Um, and I believe they get, what, two. 200 like a 12,000 or something from a full I forget exactly what it is I haven't done them in a while but the max max time lapses but that's perfect we're looking good here let's throw on these down here and check them out we live perfect yeah, everyone lives look at that please give good merc recruitment speed nothing we really care about but I wouldn't say it's bad either I'm gonna be headed off. I'm gonna actually send him out on this I want that five minute quest on someone though mm, I kind of want to send that guy out on that we are trying to do five minute quests and I'll be up for a little bit. There we go. It's about a 24 hour, that's fine. Um, four hour ruby, what are we looking at for that? I'll take it, I'm obviously going to bed shortly, but that will be okay. Uh, you're level four, sure, take that. Maybe another five minute, no. Um, I guess I'll take the two hour. Maybe we'll get a ruby out of it. Four hours, or um, four rubies there is nice. Um, I'm not gonna worry about going too crazy with super long quests for this, because I, I do really wanna milk this guy for rubies. Uh, having that extra life, could mean potentially a really good merc, um, which also makes me feel a little bit better about spending these rubies because, I mean, we have close to what we need for a mil anyways. We're 100 down, so that's not really that bad. Um, boom, don't care about that, but we're in a good spot. Let's, um, three upgrades in already, which is awesome. Uh, throw that on down there. Get a nice energized on Golden Cooks. Reload Dark Ritual. Throw that in, and we are off. Um, set that up so we're good to go. Um, I'm gonna bounce out here for just a little bit and I'll be back with all the clan info for you guys in about a second. Alright guys, it's only been like a minute or two, but I'm back here. Uh, I just had to go through the sheet real quick and uh, modify a couple people who I decided to save. Again, it's information you guys can't see, but uh, people who don't move, I decide to spare some people each week. Um, and I had to quickly modify that just so Toasty, when he gives everyone that who to kick, uh, can see. <laughs> I had to change that over to spare a couple people. Uh, but anyways, Lamination. Starting off with Toasty. Back at his highest zone. Uh, gonna be making some big progress. We're gonna start seeing some Lamination shoot up. And our clan total is going to shoot up an absolute absurd amount, which is really cool. Uh, but Toasty going up 26,000 zones. Congrats, my dude, for breaking that point. I know it's been a grind. Um, good luck, man. Uh, Diplo's going up 58,000 zones. Congrats to you, my dude. Um, making some good progress. Hopefully getting Ascended Llama soon. Uh, Fred going up 52,000 zones. Major progress. I think both of them last week did not move or barely moved or something like that. But you can see it um, being turned around pretty quickly right there. I might be wrong about that too, but I'm pretty sure both of them were pretty low moving. Because uh, I think Seabus had to redeem them. Which, uh, um, also, yeah, Fred broke 300,000. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet, man. But yeah, Seabus uh, going up 33,000 zones. These giant leaps right here. Uh, it's great, guys. It's great. Um, we've got Super Spruce going up 13,000. Getting really close to 40,000, dude. So close. Uh, Fake Gaming going up 5k zones. I missed Sir Kill a lot up there as well. Going up 15,000. Breaking 60k. Congrats to you, my friend. Um, and then Gravy. Eef, man. 17 zones. I'm pretty sure you moved up barely anything last week, too, man. Um, we're going to kind of put you on the 
chop a block here soon. Um, we gotta see some more progress, man. This, those early stages are like some of the easiest points to grow. Um, especially from 200 to like 300 to get that first transcendence to then transcend. Um, we gotta start seeing a little bit more out out of that. It's a little too slow, too slow progress for the clan pace we've got going on. So um, please make sure to get going on that. I'm gonna we're gonna spare you this week, but if we see super low progress or no progress next week, we'll probably have to kick you, man. Uh, and just so this doesn't bother anyone, because it's gonna bother me too seeing it. I'm gonna click that. Plus we have our guy up here. Let me do that real quick. I know you guys can't really see this whole thing right now. Um, I guess we're just gonna step out of that. Whatever. Get the quest experience. Elimination 2. Um, who did it do the greatest? And in this current state as an open spot, I'm pretty sure it filled up. But uh, Rubik's Master, we actually saw some progress out of, which is sweet. Another officer who does not move a ton. Um, he's, you know, he's on mobile and, you know, he, he's he got real stuff going, real life stuff going on too. He just kind of helps you know, run everything. But uh, breaking 44,000, hopefully break, make it, become an Ascendant Llama soon himself. Uh, bacon going up 34,000 zones. Dude, the progress right now. I can tell you the people who are moving are moving. Um, a couple of people who aren't moving in the clans, but like, oh, it's such good progress. And it's crazy to think, like, you guys will see here in a bit, like, Lamination 2 has made some, like, I believe actually the most progress out of all the clans this week, but it's, and half the people didn't move. <laughs> it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But, uh, John going up 48,000, um, Breaking 250k. We got uh, Chungi going up 56,000 zones. Breaking the 100k mark. Getting all the way up over 130k. Congrats to you. Gino going up 51,000. Breaking 80,000 zones. And then a bunch of people who bring great shame to the Lamination too. Uh, and the all, all Lamination clans. Especially Mr. Vulmerize because I put a lot of faith in him. And... Um, Thought we had a cool bond, man. Thought we had a cool bond, even though we've only spoke like once in the comment section. I thought we had a bond, man. But uh, one of those four people are gonna be uh, spared this week. Uh, I've already marked it, but it's a secret. Who? I can tell you, it's not Volmerize. It's two weeks in a row. So upset. So upset with you, Mister. Uh, unless you move by Sunday, of course. By the time this video is out, then you'd be spared. And I greatly apologize, but don't do it again. <laughs> um. Lamination 3, this this video, I don't even know what's going on right now. Lamination 3, we got CJ going up 18,000, breaking 300k. Um, another officer who I haven't seen move in like a long time. He's just, last couple weeks he's been making small progress, which is sweet. Um, hopefully he'll be breaking Ascendant Llama too soon. I want to get all the officers Ascendant Llama. Um, I feel like it's needed. But uh, Dr. Dan, only going up uh, 1,500. It does get rough at that point in the game, especially if you don't have a lot of time to put into the game. Uh, I get you. I mean, it's not it's not too bad to you're over 200k, but hey, dude, everyone needs a little bit of a, a break week. Um, 2k zones coming out of shadow, just shy of 20,000. Clickable, barely moving. Uh, you don't like to see it, but I believe it's his first week kind of doing something like that. We got Chicken Salad coming into the clan at um, just shy of 15,000. And then uh, Tompos coming in at just shy of, actually more towards the 13k mark. Uh, potato moving up. Uh, 1700 zones. Congrats to you, my friend. Lasagna going up 800 zones, breaking that 3k mark. We got Winter Flame. Not really making much progress either. Come on, guys. Get on it. Uh, and the Mason, welcome to Clan, my dude, coming in at 192. Welcome, my friend. Uh, also, um, well, I managed three had no one not move. Um, yes, they had three new members, but still, out of the other seven who are in the clan, everyone made some progress, which is pretty cool. Even though, you know, some of them weren't the most progress, it's it's still good to see. Uh, but yeah, lastly, Lum Empire, we've got uh, Dark going up 11k zones, breaking 30k. Congrats. Suffice going up 2900. Congrats to you. Restart coming into the clan at 13,000. Welcome, welcome. I've seen you've been pretty active on the Discord, which I love. Some names uh, definitely pop out, especially if your name is the same in the clan as it in the Discord. It makes it really easy for me to start recognizing who you are. And again, it's even better if it's the same in the comments, because then like I know who you are everywhere, um, which is just cool. But Restart's been super active, really chatty, helping people out and stuff. Uh, love to see it. Uh, uh, Kaya Ninja going up uh, 20, I lost my place in there. 2,700 zones, breaking that 10K. Congrats to you, my friend, uh, Muta. Um, welcome to the clan. I hope that's right. I 
feel like I pronounced that one alright. Uh, coming in at 7100. Uh, Growl's only going up 13 soon. I'm pretty sure we saw no progress last week, or really low last week, and then 13 this week. Eh, alright, alright. Well, I like it. We gotta, we gotta see some more, guys. We gotta see some more. Uh, sorry if you heard the dog barking. Uh, and then Llama Fan. Uh, welcome to Clan. Coming in just shy of 600. Welcome, welcome. Um, bunch of new peeps, I feel like, this week. And I want to say we have... What is it? Let me count them out for you. One, two, three, four, five. Five kicks we're doing because I'm saving, I believe, two people who didn't move this week. Um... I'm gonna spare unless they don't unless you know they don't move or unless people move I mean uh, and then there does show there's the open spot in Lamination 2 again I think it's full at the time of this recording um, but I could be wrong definitely could be wrong um, or I'd say before by the time this video is out that's not necessarily by the time it's recording but on to our total clan info with all the changes and all the zone progressions because there's been a ton we've got a to over, total clan total over 8 million again um, with a 500,000 change this week, it's great. Toasty is going to rise that up a ton. And when I start getting up to where uh, my high zone is, which I'm still pretty far out, to be honest. But when I start getting there, we'll see a crazy jump. Um, and then hopefully, like I said, the officers, because the officers are the only ones in the clans that will ever be over um, 500k. Everyone else gets promoted in the Discord and kind of retired out of our clans. But uh, I do our total, or on top of the clan change chart. You can see Lamination and Lamination 2 uh, were pretty close. Uh, Lamination with 205,000 and Lamination 2 with 215,000, which I kind of already spoiled. Uh, and then again, even the other ones, they're pretty high. 53,000, 38,000, that's a lot of clan change, guys. It's crazy. I know a lot of it is due to new members and stuff, too. Um, but it's great to see, guys. I love it. I love it. Um, and again, it's hard. You can't really like say it's competing. Again, we're all the same clan, um, and it's it's hard to say it's competing because it's not evenly dispersed. I mean, right now, Lamination is an absolute powerhouse with all of its high level member, uh, high level members, making it easy to start making progress. Although Lamination Two is kind of up there too. Um, but we're gonna see hopefully a big bang coming from Lamination Three with the way the members are lining up there too. Um, they've got some pretty good chance of some big bangs coming out. But uh, I love it, guys. I love it. Love the progress we've made this week. Um, congrats to y'all that's you know, lived and survived <laughs> onto the next week. Uh, I do want to state, if you get kicked from the clans, do not request back until you are back grinding. You need to be broken your, your zone um, that you were at when you got kicked. Uh, you'll probably be declined. Um, if you come back in and then get kicked for due, due to that inactivity within like the first two weeks, there's a good chance we're going to put you on our ban list, which means we're just not going to accept you again for a couple of weeks at the very least. Um, not saying you can't come back in if you get active, you know, active within the community, there's a good chance we'll give you another shot. But like, we've been getting some people who've been continuously trying to come back in or have been coming back in. Um, with barely moving zones or moving or not moving any zones that we accept anyways, and then they come in and don't move. We're not going to be doing that anymore. We are going to. We have a list that we, we put everyone we kick and what zone they are at, anyways. So we can kind of see from there. Um, and even if you change the name, we're going to be able to see that your zone. Like, we're, we're going to be able to put it together. It's like, don't be in the clan if you're not going to progress. Leave it open for other people. Um, we have some great people who even know they're not going to progress for like two weeks and they know it and they tell us and they're like, you can kick me. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to progress. And you know, you're more than welcome back. I mean, if you're over 100K, we'll talk. Um, we'll talk it out. But, uh, I know we don't accept over 100k, um, but be active in the Discord. Let us know that you're not going to progress uh, if you can't progress one week. If you can't progress a week and you let us know, we're, we're lenient with it. But you got to be active. We have to know you're active. But there's so many people who like, I like spare for a week or two. Like I'll spare for an extra week, I should say. So they last two weeks without moving, and then they get kicked, and then not that that week, the next week, but the week after they request back in the same zone, and they get accepted back because they request to a different clan normally. Um, Right now, all the officers can now see the uh, people kicked, but uh, so that that'll be a lot easier to prevent. But it's like progress first. Don't come back if you're not progressing. Like we just we don't want to see it. It's kind of like to the point, and we do, we're, I am gonna make probably a point um, to actually start banning people from joining the clans, um, meaning that you just can't come back into the clans um, for you know at least for a certain period of time before. Um, 
Did, just because it's annoying. There's so many people who went in the clans. Other people who are going to be active come to the clans, you know? That's, that's kind of how I see it. Um, also, last week, guys, with the Ooga Boogas, you guys had me dying. Um, I can't believe so many people did the Ooga Boogas in the comment. I absolutely love it. I think we only got like one or two of you guys into the clan. Just because it's hard to make sure we have openings. Um, I want to find a better way to do it to where people will actively watching these videos uh, get spots in the like at least a couple spots each weekend of the clans I'm gonna think about how I want to do it I'm gonna work some things around and I'm gonna make it happen I think um, I haven't figured it out yet but I'm gonna find out a way for you guys to like comment something comment something and we're gonna keep a clan spot open I don't, again, I don't know. I gotta think it over, but I'm gonna make a way so we can get like two or three, probably two people each week. Um, from the comments, we'll have like priority over um, anyone else just randomly joining for like you know, kind of commenting something that like we say in the video or something. I don't know. I, I'm thinking about it because it was it was funny. Again, I'm surprised so many people did it. Um, I found it so funny. Just look at the comments. Just all the ooga boogies. They're still coming in. Um, people still watching the videos. They're still doing it. And I, I find it funny. But uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. We just broke 200k here. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy it, so please take a second, smack the like button, guys. You guys have been great about that lately. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not one to like set like like goals and whatnot, as I really don't like the whole idea of that. But I, it, it helps out the channel so much, guys. Um, it really gets us in like the recommended section, and you know YouTube kind of promotes the videos more, which brings more people in, which means more people watching, and it, it just it's better. It's better all around. <laughs> but yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch you guys next week. Hopefully we'll be pushing up towards uh, Ma sooner than later. And uh, yeah, peace.